Bahasa Malanyu, Apa Kaba, and welcome to episode 65 of my Worm Unlimited tutorial series. This episode is going to be on making lie. Um, it's our slow progression to the level working skill. Um, I want to, before I get into that though, I first want to do one announcement. Um, that um, I have a new subscription. It is Serga. You'll see in my uh, channel that I've just subscribed to him. Um, Serga and Lady Nailo have um, made a wonderful video. Um, it's truly a wonderful video, and I watched it earlier and. After watching it, I was left with a big smile on the outside and a big smile on the inside. If you want to know why, then I strongly urge you and recommend um, that you watch Sir Gars and his family's video. Um, on that note, that is a wonderful family you have there, Sir Gar, and I sincerely hope you make many more videos. It it was a it is a beautiful beautiful video like I said I'm not joking when I said I believe it is the nicest YouTube video I have ever watched it's absolutely beautiful and for all of you my lovely viewers if you want to see what I'm talking about then please watch Serga's video uh, he made a link I believe in the last video if not I've subscribed so you can get to his video through my channel so there we are. Well done to you, Serga. Hope to see lots more from you in the future. Moving on. I want to... Um, okay, with that moving on, I actually do need to move in in the uh, worm. So I want to announce our first five-speed horse, which... Um, sorry for the gaps, it's because I'm just checking my notes. Which is thanks to teamwork. And what I'm talking about is these two team members here. Now, it was thanks to Roman finding this um, be beautiful little uh, cute horse here, or calf. Is, it, is that the right calf? I believe so, yes. So it was thanks to Roman bringing the mare back um, to Tutorial Island. And then thanks to Rainstorm breeding uh, Roman's mare, which created us a five-speed cute little um, calf. And now I don't even actually know where the gate is in. So I can't even actually go in the pen because... Oh, wait a minute, is this a gate? Yeah, there we go. So if I go over, just to show you, and I double-click, you will see down here, Oops, I should of minimise that, but it doesn't matter. No big deal. But let's do that again. So if I double click, you'll see it has fleeter movement than normal. It has a strong body. It has lightning movement. It can carry more than average. It has very strong leg muscles. Look, check that out. Now, yes, we were very, very lucky, but there you go. There is a five-speed horse. There's all the traits you are looking for. Well done to Roman and well done to Rainstorm. What that should be showing you all is that teamwork really is fantastic. Right, okay, so this episode is about making lie. So it's probably a good idea if I do actually start working on that or showing you that. So let's go back up here. Okay, now while I'm walking uh, in my cart going back up, let's just check what I wanted to mention next. Yeah, so this episode is a continuation of our path to lever working, and lever working is a very fun skill to get into. As you will see, I'm going to do countless episodes, they're all going to be spread apart because there's different lever working items I enjoy making. And so I will make separate episodes on each area of lever working. 
I'm not giving the game away as to what the first one is because we're going to have a competition on it. Um, so, I hear you asking, Gamester, what do we need to make lie? Well, my dear viewer, we need water and ash. Hence, the last episode was on making charcoal piles. Now, don't start yelling at me um, because you do not want to make charcoal piles. The gamester feels your pain and he is here to help you. So, with that uh, in mind, I'm going to say to you a simple way to get ash. If ash is all you need and you do not um, want to or like making charcoal, charcoal piles, because remember that's if you want ash, charcoal and um, tar. But if you just need ash, the simplest way to make it is of course making campfires with kindling because it, it might well be that a lot of you watching this have decided that you want to take the path to leather working but you're, you, you've just started out, you have hardly any trees and you don't have much wood so the easiest thing to do is as you're creating your BSBs and FSBs and getting all of them um, scraps of wood, bits of wood and logs, small logs then you can get your ash by using kindling because remember you can use your wood scraps to make kindling or you can use your logs and then you can make loads of campfires do not however add fuel to the campfires because that will make the campfires burn longer you will not get any extra ash for doing so so simply use one kindling per campfire do not add any fuel to it that way it will burn out quicker uh, you'll get your ash sooner and also you will train your fire making skill so there we have it so things really are all good and there we go okay so either make charcoal piles if you have the resources to and the endurance and the mind to because you enjoy making char charcoal piles as I do or if you're not into all that or you don't have enough resources then simply make campfires you know it's it's up to you whatever you have fun doing you do it because the gamester will never tell you to do it any other way apart from which way you enjoy I am only here to show you different different ways of doing things sometimes right sometimes wrong at the end of the day if you if I show you the wrong way and you work out the right way I still believe I've achieved my goal although I do always try to correct myself when I am frequently wrong but that's thanks to the Wormpedia so having said about the wonderful Wormpedia I'm now going to read to you the contents of what the worm, wonderful Wormpedia says about Liar let me just bring it up right okay here's the wonderful Wormpedia first of all um, it's what it says at the top is made from ash and water this is used when preparing leather so we're going to get to that in a moment description a mixture made through alchemy for making leather out of animal hide and for creating corrosive traps and concrete yep concrete will be a future episode when creating all water in the container you're using will be replaced with lye and ash will be consumed at a ratio of 0 0.10 kilograms for every full litre one kilogram of water used now that sentence I've just said to you there is very important but in true gamester style don't worry about the words I've just spoken it's my actions that will follow which will make that make sense to you well actually it's a combination a combination of me reading it to you explaining it to you and showing you you cannot beat them free methods of training or showing anyway carrying on on the Wormpedia before I delve into a great big waffle session okay it does mention rare functionality it says rare lie adds plus one to the quality level of the leather produced yay right what does it say under notes the ratio to create is one kilogram of water to 0 0.10 kilograms of ash and yes I'm going to show you a delightful easy way of working it all out 
Next under notes, even when using, and oh this is an important one which I will further demonstrate. Even when using 45 kilograms of water, a small barrel, barrel's worth, and 0 0.10 kilogram of ash, all of the water will be consumed, consumed and one kilogram of lye created. So the um, fact to gather from that what I've just said there is it doesn't matter how much water you use the amount of ash that you use well I mean when I say it doesn't matter how much water you use let's rephrase that okay because that is in inaccurate as long as you're using um, over one kilograms of water to 0 0.10 kilograms of ash as long as you're over rather than under it doesn't matter how much water you use hopefully that makes sense but it will when I demonstrate it in in a moment okay so but it's important to grasp that for every 0 0.10 kilogram of ash use a minimum of one kilogram of water okay so moving on quality of the lie is capped by the quality of the ash used and affected by your skill check success in natural substances so if I bring up the skills um, oh let's close all them not relevant to this uh, so we want um, pa, 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 pa. I've got to find alchemy alchemy is that in nature or is that in healing no it's not there it's a separate tree I'm quite sure uh, not that it's every one but one I'm choosing I believe oh there it is right so Here's what we're going to be using. I'll keep that open so you can see them going up as we're actually demonstrating this. So what did I read? Quality of the light is capped by the quality of the ash used and affected by your skill check success in natural substances. So that one there. Okay. Moving on in Wormpedia. Failing to create light uses 0 0.10 kilograms of water and 0 0.10 kilograms of ash. You don't, well, you can make plenty of ash. It's all good. Water, well, you're going to hopefully have a fountain soon, so water will be a perman in permanent abundance around you. As for ash, you're going to be making lots of campfires to get your fire making skill up. Oh, why do I always lose the skills? Oh, there it is. You can see I've been making loads of campfires. Uh, Daniel and Roman and me went out on a little hunting trip, although I ended up cutting trees and making campfires. But there you go. So, it's all good. Okay, moving on. Reading Wormpedia. The last line, if you try to drink it, you get the message, you, or however you say that. See, I've... I can never say that right. You, the, the lie tastes funny and won't quench your thirst at, at all. You certainly aren't going to wake up one morning and say, let's go drink a bucket of lie. No, no, no. You're not going to do that. Not unless you've swallowed the wrong medication. Or you're the gamester. No, what you'll do is simply open up your fountain and take a natural drink from that. Okay, right. So there's the wonderful Wormpedia. I do not believe I've missed anything out this time from Wempedia. I've read it all in its entirety. So, let's move on. Okay, so let's check my notes. What are we going to do next? Okay, now we are going to do some experiments. That's why you're all here, isn't it? Not just for the facts, not just for the Wormpedia reading to correct the uh, incompetent gamester, but you're here for some mad experiments. Well, they're not mad, but you could call them mad, especially what I do. Anyway, so you can all see how easy it is to make lie. Okay, we're going to do some experiments so you can all see how easy it really is to make lie. Now, let me see. Let's just make sure I'm not jumping ahead of myself. I know it's very strange to all of you. Me um, doing an episode called Making Lie and 
doing using the alchemy skill, but that's the way things tend to go in Worm. I've mentioned it before and I'll mention it again, all skills are interchanged. When you're doing one, you cannot but miss another. Which is why it's good to do a bit of everything. Okay, so though, what do we want to do now? So, first of all, let's show you my cart. Because there's a special re reason for showing you my cart. Now, making lie is something uh, that will use different volumes of water. And when we get to the dye episode, that is also another good example of using different containers and different, different volumes of water. So I first want to show you, this is not an exhaustive list of all the containers and all the volumes, okay? I've chosen out four containers with four different volumes, just to simply emphasize how you can make different quantities of different substances. For this episode, we are talking strictly about using ash and water to make lye. And I will be demonstrating using different quantities of ash to make different volumes of lye. So the first, the four containers I'm going to show you is the cauldron. The cauldron, oh, just forget about that it says food and water. The cauldron fits in it a maximum of 64 kilograms of water, or litres, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to stick to kilograms. Um, okay, so the cauldron fits 64 kilograms of water. The next one down is the small barrel. That fits 45 kilograms of water. Next down is the small bucket. That fits 12 kilograms of water. And the next one down is the pottery jar. That fills two kilograms of water. Now, I do have a secondary barrel because I was going to show you um, that in this barrel up here that I put in one of my small rafts, I've got 38 kilograms of water. Now, if I wanted to make mix a perfect amount with that, okay, it would, of course, as you're all well aware, because you're all well, well, very clever viewers, I'm exceptionally lucky with that except for those of you that decide to fall asleep and your snoring interrupts my waffling, but I shan't hold that against you. Okay, if we wanted to make the perfect amount of lie, lie okay, using 40 or 4 kilograms of ash, so if I'm using 4 kilograms of ash, as you all know, the perfect volume for that would be 40 kilograms of water. But look at this. We have... 38. So we're missing 2 kilograms. We don't want to waste our ash because we don't want to waste our time. So let's give you the first demonstration. So what we can do, conveniently, the pottery jar can help us out. What I will do is, let's bring up my pocket, let's drop the pottery jar into my pocket, let's grab the water and drag it to that small barrel. Voila! we now have, well, it's 0, 0, 0.01 under, but the gamester isn't going to lose no breath over that. I've clearly demonstrated we're as close to 40 as we can possibly get, and that was using two different containers, okay, the pottery jar and the small barrel. So you can, you know, you can mix and match, you can pour out the water of one container and slowly add amounts of water using a smaller container. There are other containers you can use, but as I've demonstrated, you can clearly make different amounts of water. But, so let's do this little, let's do our little further our experiments. So there's the different containers, the different volumes. Now though, I want to show you how to make the perfect volumes. So let's grab 10 ash, which of course is one kilogram of ash. Now, you know that the perfect amount to mix with that, of course, is 10 kilograms of water. But let's say we're using the small bucket. The small bucket, as we know, has 12 kilograms of water in it. Now, I read to you Wormpedia earlier, and what you should have discovered from that, and it doesn't matter if you did not, because I'm now going to show you. What it said to you in that is... If you use ash and you have too much water, because I'm using one kilogram of ash, it's only going to use 10 kilograms of water. 
So the moral of this story and the important thing for you to understand is it is fine to use our one kilogram because with water we have it in the fountain it's unlimited we can just keep grabbing it so it doesn't matter if we waste two kilograms of water let's it's all well and good me keep yapping and waffling let's show you so I'm gonna combine the ash because you can combine it it's now in a lump of one kilogram how do we make lie gamester it's taken you 20 minutes and you still haven't told us tree beard junior doesn't do things in rush rushing okay so i finally got to it here we go you activate your ash right click on the water go to create alchemy lie i've got 90 percent chance remember because my natural substances is not hugely high but i was doing demonstrating healing covers so it's increased a little okay what you're now saying gamester so what should we get our natural substances to well you can see at the moment i'm on 90 percent you get your natural substances to 20 then start making lie otherwise you'll get unnecessary failures it's just my opinion at the end of the day you do it whenever you wish okay let's now click this okay oh true gamester style he's trying to do it from his car well that's no good is it so let's disembark now i want you to observe okay i want you to observe a few things now i know you're all observant but i wish to engage you i wish to engage you with your sight the things i want you to observe is the fact that i'm using one kilogram of ash with 12 kilograms of water i want you to observe how much lie we get out of this demonstration i also want you to observe the skill gain not that that's so important whereas this is important so let's try again i've activated my ash after combining it into a lump let's now right click the water create alchemy lie let's now see here we go it's going up we failed as Wormpedia told us, we lost 0 0.10 kilograms of water and 0 0.10 kilograms of ash. Let's try again. Oh, I hope it don't keep failing. But, you know, it's welcome to worm time. There we go. So, you see, it, uh, it, uh, that extra 2 kilograms of water wasn't used. It was just dismissed. It's gone. It's in the ether doesn't matter we have nine kilograms of lye right let's step up our little experiment then shall we you can clearly see though by what i said if we hadn't have had one failure we would have had 10 kilograms of lye right let's not stop there though hey eh? let's now make a bigger lump so we have 40 ash let's combine it together i hope i can yep there we go we now have four kilograms of ash so we need to combine that with i'll let you answer yes of course 40 kilograms of water luckily up here we have a small barrel that has 45 kilograms so let's bring the small barrel down okay now like i pointed out earlier this four kilograms of ash is only going to use 40 kilograms worth of water the five extra kilograms of water does not matter if we waste it so let's now activate the ash let's right click the water create alchemy lie and here we go observe how much we get oh and it failed again oh well such is life welcome to worm try again now look at that we've got a nice 39 kilograms of lye brilliant now we won't add our nine kilograms of lye to the small bucket if you want my opinion on what to do it would simply to be bear in mind this lye rots so it does rot if i remember from all the years ago of when i last made well not actually years ago about a year or two ago i was making lye 
it does rot over time. I don't believe it's quick. A bit like syrup. It takes a little bit of time, but it doesn't rot straight away. So I wouldn't make a huge amount. Perhaps make, but let's face it, for goodness sake, ash and water are so easy to get. It doesn't matter. I usually make a huge amount because I don't want to keep making it. And if it rots, it rots. I'll just make some more. What's the word? Um, words I'm looking for? It's all good. So there we are. There is our lie. That now prepares us another step on our path to lever working. Now I do apologise because I said in this next episode we would then be ready for the competition and then be ready for the lever working. We're not. I need to now do one more episode on turning hides into leather, tanning. Yay, that will be fun. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every single last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and joining me and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.